Today, we are gonna draw trees, but not just any trees. Today, I would like to draw the sacred grove. And this is a special set of trees because this is where Joseph Smith saw God the Father and Jesus Christ, and where he gained a testimony of the gospel, which he was always true to. And so today, we wanna to draw that and talk about how we can be more faithful to our testimonies, just like Joseph Smith. Let's get going. Let's go ahead and get started on making our sacred grove. So to do this, I'm going to draw some circles, but I'm not gonna do the whole circle because they're gonna kind of go off the page. So if you can imagine, I'm gonna draw up here, but do not draw on your parents' table. That's a big no-no. But we can't, so we can start here and pretend like we're gonna do a full circle, but we're only gonna do part of it. And we're gonna do a few of these circles in different places at the top of our page. And these are the canopies or the tops of the trees. So I'm gonna just draw a couple more here, just a couple more U's. All right, and those are gonna go on the very top. And now we're gonna add some trunks to these trees. So we wanna take some lines from the trees and go all the way down, close to the end of the paper. And they don't have to be all the same size. Trunks can even bend and change different directions on trees. I'm sure you see that all the time. So maybe I'll just do a big thick one right here in the middle. It can be all different shapes and sizes, which I think makes it more fun. It's more fun when we have a lot of different looking things and everything looking the same. All right, so now that we have all of our trees here, let's go ahead and let's just add some grass. One way that I like to make grass is by just drawing little lines. I've seen some people that like to do zigzags or put little Vs on the bottom. But this is just gonna create um, the bottom or the ground underneath our growth. Okay, and now after we get that done, I think it's fun to just add some little lines. And this is kind of fun because you can just go across the page really fast and just kind of like create some like shadows on here. Maybe put a couple between the trees like that. All right, so that is most of our grove. We want to add some U's up in the trees. So up here, I'm going to do these little U's, and these are the leaves in the trees. And the fun thing about having, you know, textures like this is you can use them for lots of different things. Like if you're drawing a dragon, these might look like the scales on a dragon. But if you put them on a tree, they help them to look like trees. So you can pick whatever kinds of shapes you like or whatever things that you think make it feel like leaves. I'm gonna use these U's because I feel like they'll be really fun. And remember, you guys can uh, pause this video and go back. You know, if you forget something or wanna see how I did something again, you can go back and look at it again. All right, so now we got all those trees there. So now we're gonna go ahead and color it. And when we color it, we're actually gonna make some more trees, which is gonna be really fun. And for me, I'm gonna pick two different colors of green because I, I like to make trees, you know, different colors so they're not all the same, which I think can be really nice. And you might pick different colors for your tree. So we're just gonna go in and, and shade this in really good. We get some nice green colors in there. One of the things I like about um, the Sacred Grove is I think Joseph Smith went there because of, they're a really nice, quiet place. Sometimes they can be really pretty, maybe a good place to think. So it seems like a really good place if you had a really special prayer that you wanted to ask. Maybe you just want to be by yourself a little bit when you ask it. So here we go. We've got this other color of green. See, doesn't that look fun when you got two different colors instead of having them all be the same color? I think that's fun. Sometimes it's fun when things are all the same color, though, too. And that's why you get to be an artist. An artist, they get to make lots of decisions about what they think looks really pretty and then show it to other people and then other people like to enjoy it. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do the trunks of the trees. 
And so I am going to make, I've got this special brown color that I like here, and I'm just going to color those in. I'm going to color them in pretty fast. But again, you can pause the video and wait till you get yours all colored up, and then you can start it again when you're ready. That's what I like to do a lot when I'm watching videos to learn how to do things. You could do purple trunks on your trees if you want. All right, so we got all that filled in. Now I wanna grab my green again, and we're gonna do some more trees in the background. So it makes it look like a whole big forest. So I'm gonna do some more circles in here and just fill those in, just like the other ones. And I think there's something nice about these ones not having black lines around them because it just kind of makes them look like they're further back. There we go. Let's do a couple more over here. And and you can make the, the trees go through the trunk of another tree if you do this thing where I draw part of the circle, and then when I get to the trunk of the tree, I lift it up and I continue my circle, and then I put my marker back down and I finish my circle. That's a really good way to make it look like this tree is behind another tree. That's super fun. I just love it. Art is one of my favorite things to do. And we'll, I want to put one more right over here, I think. I think that looks pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give some of these other trees back here, give them some trunks, and, and they can be different sizes. If you want to make them look like they're further back, you can make it so the trunk doesn't go all the way to the bottom. Like maybe the trunk stops all the way up here and that'll make them look like they're, they're further away or not as close as the other ones for whoever's looking at this, this grove. I'm just gonna put some lines here and just connect them to the other trees. All right, I think that's looking really good. So now let's go ahead and we'll put some field grass in here. So I'm gonna grab one of my green colors. I'm just gonna fill this in. Make this look really nice place to kneel down and say a prayer. Praying is one of my other favorite things to do, art and praying. I always feel good when I pray. All right, so there we go. So this is my finished sacred grove. I want to show you one that somebody else sent in to us I just thought was beautiful and as always, I don't think everyone's sacred grove needs to look the same. Yours might not look like mine, and I think that's perfectly great and fantastic. I don't think we want any two that look the same. And I think this one is just magical and beautiful because it has all these red and these orange colors in here. And so it looks like fall to me, which I think is a beautiful thing because we have lots of different seasons in the year where trees can change to different colors. And so I think this is a real special thing. And maybe you can turn this into a gift to give to somebody. So this is my sacred grove. This is someone else's sacred grove. You know, this is where Joseph Smith, where he was super faithful to his testimony and always told everybody what he saw and shared his message with everybody and never denied it, which I just think is so wonderful that he was willing to do that. This was a ton of fun. We'll see you later. Bye.